You know, it's interesting. It's very different from last year's game. You know, last year's game, there was, um, uh, I think, we gutted it out. We found a way and uh, very difficult circumstances, you know, early in the game and um, just the emotion of a save PK, all those things. And um, this year's game felt a lot different. And we talked about it at halftime. You know, we talked about the fact that we thought we were playing well, we were possessing the ball well, uh, but we had to get something from it, you know. and. Um, you know, like we say a lot, this isn't a game that is judged, you know, the, the scoreboard judges you. And so, um, you know, I was, I was proud of them. Again, they, they really responded at halftime. We made a very specific uh, adjustment for what we wanted to do before we crossed the ball. And, and um, uh, they did it. And, uh, you know, so Louisville's a fantastic team. That's going to make us better down the road. There's no doubt about that. I think also the impact of playing a great game in front of all the kids that are here watching, I think, is very important also. Oh, that was a crazy crowd. Yeah. I mean, that was awesome. I am uh, very open about uh, how much of a difference Big Blue Nation makes for us, and we really appreciate their support. You know, I, I cannot adequately say how proud I am for us to play like that in front of Mitch and he is such an amazing leader you know he knows all the it's not just women's soccer the question is do they get incredibly psyched up for this game and now they're done or do they see this as you know a door that they walk through and they close it behind them and they're better next game and um, you know I've said many times the incredible excitement we had I mean the number of players that played in that game that have never played Louisville before and you know, Courtney Reitzman, who's a sophomore, didn't play last year because of injury. And so there was an incredible energy that comes from that youth.